Welcome back. I, I'm in shock. The, the newspaper survived without me? <laughs> Barely. Yeah, yeah, we limped along. I bet you did. Great to see you. Great to see you, buddy. What's happening? Not much. Until today when I got a lead on a major story. Oh, right. Congratulations. Same to you. Huh? The uh, stuff you faxed in from Rome, it was, it was great. Oh, thanks. I've always found it easy to write in Rome. What did we do before laptops? But then you don't remember an era before laptops. Speaking of faithful companions, where's Kathy? She went with Blair. They went to St. Anne's this afternoon to have a little talk with Patty. You're kidding. I wish I was. So, Kathy finally got Blair to help her? And you? I mean, you're part of all this, right? Well, if you mean by that that I'm uh, interested in finding out what makes Dorian tick, yeah, absolutely. Well, then I hope Addie can answer all the questions that you people need to know. Because I am having a lot of trouble with this now. This digging up of the Kramer past. Kathy's become obsessed, and she is upset, and I mean all the time. Kathy's trying to find out the truth about herself and her family. That can be upsetting and terrifying. But, Kevin, it's worth it. I'm sure you think it is. I'm sure you think that anything that Cassie finds out about Dorian's past is going to be helpful. Because that's what you're after, isn't it? Dorian, new and improved. But how much angst do the rest of us have to wade through before you get what it is that you really want? Kevin. What's going on? I'm angry. You're angry because I encouraged Kathy to delve into her mother's past, Yeah, right? I mean, is it helping anyone, now? Well, it certainly isn't helping my relationship with Dorian, I can tell you that. I'm just convinced that it's better for all of us to get to the bottom of this. I mean, something terrible happened to Dorian and his sisters when they were little girls. And whatever it was, it's haunting them still. Now, it's reaching into the next generation. Kathy, Blair, Kelly, the woman you love and her cousin. They're running scared, Kathy. Yeah, but they weren't before you started digging this stuff up. All right, so what do you suggest? We let sleeping demons lie? That's not what your own mother did. She persevered with all the courage she had until she found out the truth about what happened to her. And you can't tell me that uh, she and your family aren't happier and better for the effort she made. That was an extreme case. Yeah. But something just as horrible may have happened to the Kramers. And if we don't pursue it, we'll never find out what or why or how unless we keep going. Yeah, but is there an end to this? Or do you foresee this just dragging on forever? Because I am telling you, Mel, it is getting to Kathy. Right now, she's over at St. Hand. Do you have any idea what that represents to her? What? Her own breakdown. She was a patient there herself. Kevin, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, it's not something that she addresses easily. What happened? Have you ever stopped being a reporter? No. Do you? Kathy had a miscarriage. It was a couple of years ago. But she could handle it. I'm sorry. And the fear of her having another breakdown is always with her now. I mean, it's always there. Oh, boy. I wish I'd known about this before. No wonder you're so ticked off at me. I'm not going to stop you, though, is it? I believe with everything that's in me that we need the truth. And I hope that that's exactly what Cassie and Blair are getting from Addie right this minute. Because I made the teacher go away. When I have to hurt you, Dory, but Mama told me to, and, right. and if I don't, she won't love me anymore. Okay. Mama! No. no, Mama! Please, Mama, don't hurt me! I, I, they made me tell! Keep 
your point. No, I will not. Not until you explain to me why I walk in the room, I see all of you sitting there with Addie in the dark like you're conducting some sort of seance. Mother, please, just calm down. Why should I? When everybody seems determined to hide the truth from me. No, we're not. Fine. I'm going to ask you one more time. What in the hell is going on in okay, there? Now, we are going to try to explain, all right? Now, things are very complicated. A lot of things have come up while you were in Rome. And, and you didn't tell me anything about them, did you? No, I have to stumble in here and find you tormenting my poor Mother. pathetic sister. A woman who is mentally ill, who cannot take care of herself. But does that stop you from using her, all of you? From trying to plant false memories in her head of some, what, some terrible childhood trauma? You are going to be so sorry that you did this. I promise you that. All of you. Chocolate covered cherries. <laughs> you can get me some too. Don't tell Claire. It'll be our secret. I can keep it secret. Oh, I know. <laughs> Your mother needs to rest. I'm going to bring her back to her room and then I need to speak with you and Mrs. Carpenter. Okay. Come on, Come on, you want you up? of mine he owes me a call no 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 not email it doesn't make it anymore i want to hear the sound of his voice even if he's only asking me for money <laughs> so is he showing you the site uh a late breaking story is just coming my way now i've got to call you back okay bye julian am i mistaken or were we going to get together at your place later tonight you were in on it right from the beginning weren't you in on what now i know why you wanted to take me to europe it wasn't for the sightseeing, for the candlelit dinners for two, or for the bedroom acrobatics afterwards. It was just because you wanted to get me out of the way. I thought that you wanted to make me happy, but you just wanted to keep me in the dark. That's not true. I'm see? afraid of the dark. You knew that. How could you betray me this way? 